the streets have changed big time. They're empty because of the pandemic. I don't have a job now, but I'm not stopping to do my work. I work as an art teacher for 12 years. What I try to give my students is a space for expression. Giving that to young people is crucial. There are kids that their parents are working all day. So we become that part that is missing. The teaching continues. There is a lot of opportunities to keep teaching, not necessarily in the classroom. Then George Floyd, Black Lives Matter protests started. They start the boards up. All of a sudden, there were like hundreds of new spots to paint. For me, that was like an opportunity. It became an open gallery. The people speak through the walls. And that is the proof that art is a weapon, but also is medicine. The walls are ours. We are not giving them back. You are putting your feelings there, how you think, your ideas. That's a revolutionary act. Colors can change the energy of places and people. Images can get in your conscience. Space can be changed to help the people that live there. If you are seeing a wall that is gray all your life and all of a sudden you see that same wall that is full of colors, just makes you feel good, that drives me to do more. Imagine for a minute, for a second, imagine the world without art. Can you imagine it? Art is essential. What gives you hope? A beautiful painting, a good song. This time, we are proving it. We are more essential than ever. People put me in the box of radical artists or political artists. But now, in these times, pandemic times, tragedies, fires, everything happening, political turmoil, people need magic. For me, it's just like a tool to make people feel better in these hard times, you know, that's, that's what I, I am right now. <laughs>